They're not identical twins, but they could be sisters. This is actually what I do. I, I actually just spritz like this, like in the air and let it mist over me. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Viva Glaze. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you get to know each time I upload a new video. In today's video, I'm going to do a perfume collection of all the fragrances that I've mentioned in the last videos. And then after this video, I can show you uh, new perfumes that you haven't seen just yet from my collection. Uh, I'm gonna do this a little bit differently. I have categorized all these perfumes into smaller groups uh, in a way of which perfumes kind of give the same vibe. That way, if I show you like five or six in a group, you can decide between them, um, maybe two or one, uh, which one you want to purchase. But yes, you can just pick, a, select a few from that and go try them and buy them just based on my explanations and the vibe that they give. Okay, you know what? I hope you get what I'm saying. Uh, let's just jump right into it. We don't want to be sitting here for two hours. This first group has, you know, similar notes, um, but done differently. They have like sandbag jasmine, you know, like sensual vanilla, um, ember. They have um, a bit of sandalwood. They have some, you know, black currant and all those notes that I like, but they're all different in their own ways. Okay. Let's, let's just start with number one. So this is Fancy by Jessica Simpson. And this one is, to me, smells like candy floss. Mm, yeah, and it has caramel as well. And all the yummy notes that we love. And the vibe this one gives me is that like sweet, sensual, uh, it's very warm. And actually I would compare this one to Miami Glow by JLo. They both give me similar vibes. Uh, they are not the same in any way, but you could wear either one of them in, at the same occasion. They're warm like passionate scents. Like when you're wearing it, it, it makes people feel like you are a sensual person, you know, and uh, free spirited. You seem like a kind person when you wear these because they're very friendly and inviting. So they give me similar vibes. This one of course is a lot sweeter. Uh, this is very sweet. It's the caramel in there. But um, I would say they give very similar vibes. You can just pick either one of these. If you're a really sweet tooth kind of person, you can go with this one. But if you like more fresh, but slightly sweet and a scent that makes you feel a lot free and just lively and, you know, seem really outgoing, then you can wear this one. This one would be outgoing, but romantic, you know? Uh, yes. I love the, 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 um, the vanillas in both of them. They're really good. They're all gonna be masky scents, really. Um, they're all gonna be inviting in one way or another, but yeah. Fancy and Miami Glow by JLo. So in the same category as the first two that I've shown you, I have put uh, Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf, and I have Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo. They are all in the same category um, because to me, they feel the same way. They make, they evoke certain feelings towards, um, people and you know to myself so they're both sweet they're both gourmand but this one is a fruity fresh oriental and this one is a more warm floral oriental uh i would wear 
either one at the same occasion. And I think they just give the same feeling, you know? Let's smell this one. This one is a fresh scent. I think it's that fruitiness and it does have black currant, I believe, and they all have patchouli, but it's done differently. They are warm. They're both warm and they're both great for office spaces, uh, you know, closed up spaces. Um, okay, so this one, if you're in an office, let's say you're the boss, you can wear this one and you give this impression of bossy, can be likable, but it's risky to approach me, you know? It's, um, it's got a slight hint of sweetness, but it's not like out there sweetness. It's not like upfront sweetness. Um, it can be musky when it layers on your skin after some time when it warms up, it becomes really musky, even though it's a fresh scent. You're a sophisticated person. You're clean and you're not overly nice. You know, you're not like overly approachable. Uh, this one, you seem approachable, but we still gotta trend carefully kind of thing. Um, they're both really good. Um, like I said, this one is more floral and this one is more fruity, but they have the same vibe. I hope you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> so I would say if you like more florals, go with this one. If you like more fruity scents, then go with this one. They're both really good. Um, if you want an in-depth review, you can go ahead and watch my other videos um, because I have mentioned them in there in more details, like individually. So yeah, go ahead and check that video out. But yes, that is Flower Bone by Victor and Rolf and Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo. And yes. So I just spoke about um, Flower Bone by Victor and Rolf. Excuse any fingerprints. And now I'm just gonna talk about the Coco Mademoiselle Intense version. And I have not mentioned this perfume in my other videos. That's another thing. Uh, we'll just pop in random perfumes that I have never mentioned, you know, just to keep things interesting. But yes, um, this perfume gives me similar vibes to the Flower Bomb, just because they're both warm. They've got that vanilla, amber, um, patchouli, you know. Uh, so yes, they are just, they are all friendly scents. They're warm. A little bit sweet, but not really. More fresh um, in a feminine way, uh, not in a sharp citrusy way, not at all. Uh, it's more warm and close to the skin. So yes, um, they give me similar vibes. So I would say you don't have to have both. You can just pick one of the two and that will serve you like the same purpose. And I actually had the Coco Mademoiselle that in, the original version, but I got sick of it. I mean, it wasn't anything special to me. I know that's quite controversial because people love that fragrance, but honestly, it didn't really do anything special to me. The first time I got it, I was so excited. I was, you know, like, oh yeah, Chanel. But then when I heard the intense version was coming out, I knew I would prefer the intense because it's a lot deeper and warmer and not as citrusy as the other one. The other one is too sharp for my nose. I just don't, don't like it. It's nothing special, but it's, it's actually one of my mom's favorites. Um, and I'll explain why and how she wears it because she wears it slightly differently. And I've explained all of that in the last videos. Um, so just go have a look in there. And I was actually gifted this one and that's why it's a 50 mil because if I bought it myself, it would be a hundred mil. Um, I just tend to throw this into my purse. 
uh, yes, it's just a good everyday scent. It's a safe scent. So they all give me similar vibes, okay? So all the perfumes I've mentioned so far have an oriental feeling to them. Um, these two, however, this is Juicy Couture Noir and this is Midnight Rose Trezor by Lancome. And they give me similar vibes as well. I know this, this is gonna be quite strange, but yes. Um, Okay, let's start with Midnight Rose, okay? They're both romantic scents. They're both great for nighttime uh, or daytime, actually. Uh, they are sensual, but they're a little bit sharp, you know, um, compared to the other Juicy Couture perfume I'm gonna show you a bit later. But they're a bit sharp. Uh, this one has like black currant, has like rose petals. You know, um, so it makes it too sharp to be deep and romantic, but they evoke the same feelings in me. They're, they're friendly. They are easy to love. This is an approachable person. This is a, like a romantic person. Yeah, this is, approach me. I'm friendly. I'm romantic. I'm a girly girl and let's see where this goes you know this is like at 4 p.m like we could do brunch um and then see how we go to progress through to the night time and to a date night um so like if you wear this around 3 4 p.m on a date for example <laughs> then it's like it can carry you to a dinner do you know what i mean you won't need to wear a different perfume, but it's also appropriate for daytime. It's also appropriate for when the sun is out, you know, and you can be casual with them or you can actually be intense, romantic, and serious in these as well. So I'm not saying that exactly the same, none of these scents are, but they evoke the same feelings in people and in me. So I would say, Pick any of these if you're going on these types of occasions, you know, and if any of them resonate with uh, scenarios they're usually in, then you don't have to buy all of them. Just pick one or two and go smell them. And yeah, I think that's it for the first group. Let's move on to the second one. These set of perfumes have similar notes of like, um, you know, patchouli, vanilla, um, but they have like blood orange, they have pear, there's, um, you know, so it's like fruity, floral, but very musky. Um, yes. So let me just bring them out. So the first set of perfumes that evoke similar emotions and feelings um, to me are, the first one is fresh, gold, Moschino and uh, Marc Jacobs Decadence. They're both musky scents. Again, if you want details on each one, I've done the video, so I'm not gonna dwell too deep. Um, I'll link those videos in the description box. But let's smell this one first. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's so unexpected but it's so good this is very sexy fruity and very warm okay i would wear this one to bed <laughs> for some reason it smells like i'm not trying too hard but i smell good and i am just enticing it has similar feelings that are brought up by Fancy by Jessica Simpson, as well as this one. The only difference is that this one is a bit incensey. Decadence is a bit incensey compared to Moschino Gold. Uh, this one is more fresh fruity but they are warm in the same way. Um, I would pick either one and they would both evoke 
similar feelings. So that's why I put them together. Um, they're both very sexy as well. Um, they're warm, like I said, and this one's more incense -y and this one is more fruity floral. They're both orientals. They both can be date scents. They can be office scents. They can be special occasion scents. They're both strong. People can smell you from afar. And yeah, I just, I just really like both of them. And you could even mix them which I do sometimes. So yeah, I uh, actually feel like wearing these two today. So yes, let's move on. Following two perfumes also evoke similar feelings in me and with other people, they give out the same vibe. Uh, the first one is the Always Red by Elizabeth Arden. Honestly, this perfume is worth more than its price, okay? it's really affordable but the quality is amazing um and the next one is c by giorgio armani uh, another popular scent it has patchouli in this one wonderful patchouli vanilla and all those great things i've already spoken about both of them in depth um but this one is very interesting um it has like it's musky, both of them are very musky, but. Okay, so this one has like red plum, blood orange, rose petals, like, oh, velvet rose petals, sorry. Pink Frasia, Jasmine, okay, look. They're both warm and musky. The same way you feel about this one is the same way you feel about this one when you put it on. Um, but this one, of course, is just a fraction of the price of this one. They are just both really great. They can be date night scents, um, everyday scents. Mm, you smell expensive. You smell woman-like, very feminine. So yeah, always red and Giorgio Armani C similar vibe. The next fragrance is Alien by Thierry Mugler. It's in the same group as the last perfumes I've just mentioned. Um, it's got that white floral, it's musky, it's got amber in there, uh, just like the others. And it evokes the same feelings as C by Giorgio Armani and always red. That's why it's in this category. It's warm, a bit spicy. It's really good. I mean, it's a white floral, which is very similar to Decadence as well, but they're all deep and musky. So that's why I would put them in the same category because at any occasion where you feel like grabbing any of the other ones, you could also grab this one. So yes. Mm. They're all very beautiful, but like I said, don't buy all of them. Just pick which one sounds like it could be a favorite of yours and then go try it. I'm sure there's like pepper in here as well. Balsamic, that's right. But yes, oh, wonderful. So the next group, okay, has only three perfumes. They all have similar vibes. They have um, ingredients of like bergamot, vertiver, nutmeg, uh, patchouli, amber, but they're quite deep and incense -y. They're almost on the borderline of like masculine and feminine, but mostly masculine. So they are unisex perfumes. They're edgy, okay? So let me bring them out. The first two I'm gonna mention are uh, Tom Ford Black Orchid and uh, Tom Ford Noir, of course. They're both Tom Ford scents. These two evoke the same feelings in me and give out the same vibe. Oh, mm, yes, wow. <laughs> Let's just smell them first. Yes, oh, okay. They're both incense -y in different ways. They are for a night out, 
They can seem quite casual as well, but a casual, sophisticated person, not just any casual, you know what I mean? Like if you're a sophisticated person and just wearing a white t-shirt, you can rock any of these as well, but you gotta have the personality for them to work. Um, yes, they give me similar feelings. They're dark, they are woody, yeah, and a little bit of incense vibe kind of in there. Now the third one of this category that gives me similar vibes is Nirvana Black by Elizabeth and James. Like, wow, it's such a coincidence that these give up the same vibe. Um, I don't think you need to buy all three. Um, you can just pick one of these three and you would achieve the same goal. Uh, yes. Oh, wow. Like, I've given in-depth reviews of these two. This one is like a surprise fragrance that I have not yet mentioned in my other videos, but I've done in-depth reviews of this, these two and I'll link the videos in the description box. But yes, they are fantastic. I think this one is the most affordable one of the three. I'm not really sure. I will leave the links in the description. But yes, they are just masterpieces, okay? Wow, so woodsy, but if you're, no one can conf use you as a man <laughs> when you're wearing these, like you can be a man wearing them or you can be a woman, but no one's going to just be like, oh, you're wearing a man's fragrance. They're gonna be like, this woman is edgy and very mysterious and kind of hard to read. So yes, these are great, great, great. The reason I am categorizing these perfumes is so that you pick one and buy only one or two. Um, I need you to save your coin, you know, you stay rich. While some of us, you know, foolishly continue buying all these perfumes. <laughs> um, the thing is, each person has like a, an aspect in their life that they like to splurge on. For others, it's fragrance. For others, it's shoes. Uh, for others, it's bags and all those kind of things. But for me, it's, it's all three, actually. So... <laughs> It makes it a bit difficult. I'm trying to find a balance, but I just find myself overspending in all three categories. But you continue to watch these reviews and save your coin where you can, okay? That's the purpose of this video. So let's move on to the next category. The first two of this group are Coco Noir by Chanel and um Astor Place by Bon number nine. Different scents, similar notes, similar vibes, different kind of personalities, okay? They're both classy, they're both feminine, um, they're both bossy in their own way. They do give you a similar feeling, you know? Mm, they do belong together. Um, they both have orris root, done differently, but yes. Uh, you know, all the jasmine, vanilla, patchouli, all of them both have that. Um, but yes, I would choose one in a situation. Um, it would serve the same purpose. This is a mature woman. I don't mean mature as in old. I don't mean in age, I just mean in mentality, in behavior, okay? They're both very classy women, okay? You smell expensive. Pick one of the ones in this category. The next two that give me similar vibes, and keep in mind that all the ones that are in this group have similar vibes, so it doesn't matter which two I pick up, they're all the same. Um, kind of feeling to me. Uh, this is this is her by Zadig and Voltaire, and this is um, Addict by Dior, Christian Dior. Oh, such nice packaging. Anyway, 
This is classy. And this is classy and edgy in a different way. Um, they both have vanilla, like sensual vanilla, like warm, deep vanilla, like romantic vanilla, you know? And this one has cream in it. Now you would be asking yourself, how do you get cream, like whipped cream in a perfume? But actually um, it's a synthetic scent of cream. They had to like figure out a way to create the scent of cream because you can't extract oils from cream. Like you just, you just can't do that. So they do that sometimes in fragrance. They just figure out a way to simulate a scent or an ingredient. And yeah, and they do it very well in this perfume. I have not uh, tried the male version of this one, but um, this is my favorite. As you can see, I've gone, I've gone through a lot, but yeah, they're both very warm and sensual scents. They are like very caressing scents. Um, they just warm up your whole body and they feel like you've rubbed moisturizer all over your body and you're just oozing with sensuality, you know? They are so good. They are like creamy in similar ways. I, I think it's that vanilla and they give similar vibes. Um, yes, very good. Okay, so you might be wondering why is La Nuit Tresor in this category, in this small group? Um, just because it's also a very romantic scent, just as Dior um, added. Um, it's very warm. It's a caressing scent as well. Yes, that's why it's in this category. Now, the one that I'm going to bring up next is a bit controversial. I don't, to me and in this video. This one has slightly more ember and you would feel like maybe it doesn't belong in this group, but it has the same strength or heaviness as the others. It can be a caressing scent. It's very warm and woodsy, just as the other ones. Um, it's done differently. It gives me similar vibes. It might be good for a different season. I mean, these could be all year round, date night, you know, kind of vibes. Um, but this one would work daytime as well, but it's a little bit more woodsy than the other ones. I wanted to put it in the category I'm going to mention next, but I thought it's a little bit too light for that category. So yeah, it belongs here with these ones. So yeah, let's move on to the next category. This category has very woodsy scents. Okay. It has like tonka bean, um, saffron. It has cashmere. It has, you know, all this patchouli and all those stuff, but I really like this category as well. It is, I think it's like the strongest of the ones that I've mentioned. I mean, excluding Tom Ford and yes, and Nirvana Black. Firstly, I have these two. This is Alien Majestu um, by Terry Mugler. And this one is by The Fireplace by Replica. Okay, they're both very strong, woodsy. They both smell like wood. This is like a fireplace, so wood, smoke. This is just a wood with like vanilla patchouli. Yes, so very similar vibes, okay? If you mix them with other sweeter scents, you can wear them all year round, I think. Um, but if you are interested in wearing them in warmer temperature, I mean, cooler temperature, I'm sorry, then they would definitely work. Either one would do the job. Um, they're musky. This one has a floral aspect to it, but you can't really detect it. They give out the same feeling, you guys. They're very strong, 
heavy like and they have great projection and they're both unique scents compared to you know what's more mainstream so people will ask you like what are you wearing that is so different but so good yeah they're both awesome yeah similar projection so yes um fireplace by the fireplace and alien majesty by thierry mugler Okay, next in the same group, oh, before I mention the high-end ones um, included in this group, I'll just mention this one, Maruja. This is a very affordable scent. I've already talked about it. It's very incense and very warm. Although it's not completely woodsy or anything like that, it's it gives off the same feeling. Do you know what I mean? It has similar personality to the other ones. So yes, and it's very affordable. Speaking of smelling like a rich Arab, <laughs> um, just like the last one I just showed you, the more affordable version, um, this one is the high-end version of the other one, like better ingredients. Um, better longevity, better quality all in, all in all, but similar vibe. This is Oud Save the Queen by Atkinson. Like I mentioned, it has a Oud Save the King um, by the same company, but I chose Oud Save the Queen. And then we have Oud Bouquet by Lancome. Okay, these two give me similar vibes, okay? This one has a bit more rose. Uh, this one is a bit plainer than this one, I think. Um, they're similar vibes, achieve the same goal, uh, but yes. I feel like this one is friendlier. This one will be more of a favorite and likable than this one no not likable what's the word grab more attention than this one this one seems a little bit simpler and more basic compared to this um there's just something in here that makes it a little a tiny bit more interesting than this but they have the same effect they have the same strength, longevity, quality, and all those things. Like the oils in here make these fragrances last and the ingredients are good for your skin so you're not too worried about spraying on your skin. Um, but yes, ah, wonderful, same vibe. Last but not least in this category is Scandal by Night by Jean-Paul Gaultier. And yes, it is not necessarily, it's sweeter than the others. It's also deep in its own way. It's sexy, it's sensual, it is nice. Um, it gives me similar vibe to this one as well. Um, I really like them. They're both romantic and yeah, and they're both strong, great quality, similar vibe. So, yes, Scandal by Night and Oud Bouquet by Lancome. Moving on to the next one. I think we should do more fresh scents, hey? Let's go on to the fresh scents. So let's just jump right in. It has, you know, notes of like ember and um, floral notes and jasmine and orange blossom and all those kind of popular scents that are friendly and easy to fall in love with. So first two are Escada Born in Paradise. Yes, and this is Candy Yum Yum by Mac. Um, yes, they're both Sweet, fresh, citrusy in different ways. Okay. Um, 
if pink had a smell, it would smell like this. So it makes sense that it's in this kind of bottle. Um, I've already done an in-depth review of this one. So this one as well, this Escada scent smells like summer and a cocktail drink, basically. Um, yeah, very affordable scents. Uh, similar vibe pick one or the other I think this one costs a lot less than this one um, I was not impressed with this one that's yeah but anyway it gives me the same feelings so summer flirty fresh yeah lovely the next two are uh, fancy love by Jessica Simpson and Fire and Ice by Revlon. Um, they're quite different, but evoke the same feelings. Ember Masky. It's really good. Um, <laughs> should be worth more in price, but in quality, it's really good. They're both kind of fresh scents uh, in different ways. This one is like a bit soapy. And this one is a nice moisturizer. So you see, um, they're both fresh, but warm and clean. So yes, they're great mixing scents as well. You can use them to mix other perfumes just to jazz it up. So yeah, um, I like both of them. So yeah, that's why they're in the same group. So these are all four in the same category. Like them. So the next scents have like Lily of the Valley, Vanilla, Sandalwood, Caramel, a milky, creamy, sweet. They have like a sugar, element element to them so yes these three in this category this is pink sugar by aquilina and this is fantasy by britney spears wow okay for their price wonderful fragrances okay Oh, sugar, okay? Sugar, especially when it warms up on your body, it just smells like sugar. It has caramel in it as well. This one, you smell sweet, musky, warm, inviting, perfect. These are like perfect bedtime scents, okay? If you don't wanna spend too much, and these are all quite affordable scents, but they are sweet. And men love sweet scents. It's like how we feel when we see a man looking good in a suit. That's how men feel about women wearing sweet, flirty scents. So yes. Oh, like they're already picturing you in lingerie, okay? <laughs> because you smell so sweet, like, yeah. Anyway, this one though has white chocolate. So it's it's creamy, it's sweet. They, they're in the same category for a reason, wonderful. Now the third one is Gold Couture by Juicy Couture. Okay, this one has sandalwood, golden amber, vanilla, it is so sweet, very caramel-like. Wow. A favorite of the guys as well. Um, so yes, it's in the same category. It is fantastic. It, it'll just lure this man like nobody's business. 
And that's what we want. You know, we want them sniffing after you, just wanting more of you. So, yes, lovely. On to the next category. So the next category is more fresh sense, okay? But in a feminine, classy kind of way, in a way we like, okay? These scents you can wear on very, very, very hot weather. You know, sometimes when you're wearing perfume in hot weather, it can be a little annoying to other people. You need a really good fresh scent that makes people feel fresh when they're around you and not hotter, you know? So you can be wearing those warm scents in summer, okay? Anyway, let's just jump into the first two. Here I have Versace, uh, Versace, Dylan Blue, and I have Dolce & Gabbana, light blue, intense, the best version, in my opinion. I mean, why would you not get the intense? I mean, you want it to be intense. <sighs> anyway, these are both really good fresh scents, okay? No matter how hot it is, these will not annoy anyone. They will make them feel refreshed. You will feel refreshed, and the person smelling you will feel refreshed as well when they smell this on you. Now, this one is zesty. Um, yeah, whew, summer vibes, okay? Zesty, and you can smell the lemon in here. Mm, it's so good. At first, like I said, I didn't think it was anything special, but I really appreciated it in really hot weather. When you just can't figure out what to wear, everything else is just inappropriate. And this is perfect. Yes, um, Granny Smith Apple, you know, all the rest of the ingredients. I have done in-depth reviews. So have a look in the description box for more videos on them. But honestly, I mean, they both have Granny Smith Apple, you know, in them. They're both great fresh scents. Very feminine, classy, expensive smelling. You know, you just you just smell like you've got your life together. Uh, like you're not trying too hard, but you are just naturally. Yeah, that's what we want. We just <laughs> want to be casual about being classy, about being sophisticated, okay? Perfect. The next one, these are in no particular order, okay? This is Lamparatrice by Dolce & Gabbana. Look at these two really good fresh scents by Dolce & Gabbana. Oh, they're doing some things over there. Anyway, um, this is Solo Blanc by Tom Ford. This one has like, some sort of like coconut juice in here. Not a fan, but it works in summer. And this one has like grapefruit and, you know, I've done, I've done reviews, but let's just, yes. You know what? Wear any of these and people are gonna like just know that you know what you're about, okay? Um, they're gonna know that you are a clean person who cares about how they present themselves. Uh, they like to be very fresh and yeah, just, you do not smell cheap in these, okay? And that's, you don't want to smell cheap. Like, I, anyway, moving on. This perfume by Zara um, gives me <laughs> Jo Malone vibes, okay? This is Jo Malone Pomegranate Noir. And this is Jo Malone Peony and Blush Suede. Similar vibe honestly the only issue I mean and they both don't really last 
that long. Uh, we all know Zara Sense, we have to touch up, but we're not mad about it because the price is great, like $20, you know. But then here we go to Jo Malone and they're a lot pricier, but they don't even last either. They're colognes. I mean, it makes sense. But, you know, for this price, we're, we're trying to get some quality and long lasting fragrances. So anyway, they're both great. This one is a soapy kind of fresh and these are like floral um, fresh scents. So yes, wonderful, same vibe. So this is Hugo Boss Woman and this is Escada Joyful. They both have similar vibes, but this one is considerably more expensive than this one. Um, fresh and some plant, like a flower, sorry. Mm. This one. is a definition of a clean person. Like, can you picture a white sheet? A white sheet, the way it looks, so clean, crisp, and plain, is the same way this perfume smells. Just like the way the juice looks inside. Clear, nothing to it, okay? Um, so, same vibe, but this one, it has like a hint of a flower in there. I don't know, but same family. Jimmy Choo Blossom and this woman Million. I think this is an auto toilet version, but I'm not really sure. I, it doesn't really say. They're both fruity florals. No, fruity. Let's just go with fruity, okay? Fruity, slightly sweet, but more just fruity and fresh. And this one, sorry. Mm, they could almost, not, they're not identical twins, but they could be sisters. <laughs> you know what I mean? So good, like, Fruity, fresh, you know? Uh, this one doesn't last as long, but of course, it's Jimmy Choo. Um, it lasts a bit longer. I wish I had a bigger bottle, but this small bottle was in sale, so I got it. Oh my gosh. This, <laughs> this is actually what I do. I, I actually just spritz like this, like in the air and let it mist over me. Like, does anyone else do that? Sometimes the air just smells plain, so <laughs> I just spray it up in the air and mm, it smells so good. Like, okay, let me know if there are any weird things you do with your fragrances. Like, is there any weird way you spray or where you spray that's a bit, you know, different? Um, sometimes, shh, don't tell anyone, but <laughs> I spray between my like knees or thighs like so that when I'm sitting and I'm wearing a skirt and I fold my legs over, okay? Like that friction kind of makes the scent come up. Oh, you guys, it works, okay? And like the heat between your thighs, of course, I only do these this with quality perfumes because I don't want anything with fishy ingredients on my skin. But anyway, I just spray it there and it warms up with my body heat and it just works. It just works. Like they just get a slight hint of it every time I move my legs. Don't tell anyone though. This, don't, just don't tell anyone. But yeah, comment below. Let me know what are the strange things you do. Um, yes. I'd like to feel normal, you know, I'd like to feel like part of a crew here. So yes, that concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for my new subscribers. If you're new here, but you have not subscribed, please do so. 
and click that notification bell so you get to know each time I upload a new video. Leave me a comment in the comment section. Comment about my little strategy of showing my collection. And do you agree with what I was doing? Do you agree with how I categorized them? Just let me know. Now, there are plenty more good videos that I will link in the description, but go ahead and watch them. I will see you over there, okay? <laughs>